Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is Hill Farm Said's George, um, his brown ale that comes in at 5.8%. Um, yeah, pretty interesting style. Not too many people are big fans of this beer, or of this style actually, but uh, maybe they're big fans of this beer, so we'll see. Uh, let's dig in this beer. So the beer comes in, yeah, <laughs> I told you this was a brown ale, but it does not look like one. There you go. This looks like a straight kind of a stout porter, low EB stout porter. I can sort of, I mean, you're not supposed to look in through the light, and I have bright lights here. I can barely see it, but it, maybe I get touches of dark brown coming through on this side, but right here, that's dark brown slash straight black. So yeah, that's a black color. So let's get the room on this. Awesome stuff. Really rich amounts of cocoa, toasted malt, roasted malt. On traditional brown ales, I would probably get something more, a little bit more nutty almost like a sweet brown sugar, nutty, toasty kind of broma. This one definitely has roasted malt in it. And on the label, he tells you it has roasted malt in it. It has caramel uh, malts, but also chocolate malts and roasted barley. So there's definitely a richness behind this beer, uh, more towards a kind of porter kind of aroma. Yeah, give it to me blind. I would guess it was something like a porter, but you also get that toastiness of the brown ale. So it does smell like a brown ale. Brown sugar, a little bit of um, herbal hops in there. Awesome stuff. Cheers. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a fantastic brown ale. Straight Hill Farmstead. Just like really well-balanced beer. But, oh yeah, there's a bitterness behind this one. Strangely enough, wow, this is really strange. Hill Farmstead is obviously known for his hoppy beer. Uh, Sean Hill or Hill Farmstead is known for, for his hoppy beers, but they're so soft. Um, the hoppiness, you know, he really restrains us, um, the hop quality on that beer, on those beers, and the bitterness is always restrained. This one is not. So surprisingly, an American brown ale might be the most bitter beer from a hoppy brewery. Think about that. That's pretty interesting. This is a bitter beer, by the way. Uh, for brown ale, I would say this is medium plus bitterness. So up front, I'm getting a wonderful kind of roasted malt quality, cocoa, which are notes that you generally don't get from brown ale. But this is a robust brown ale, almost a play in between a porter and brown ale. Um, you're getting uh, toasted malt as well, a little bit of brown sugar. And then on the mid palate, you're getting this wonderful, I'm getting this like licorice flavor, but also herbal bitterness, intense kind of herbal bitterness, medium plus. Yeah, it's very traditional kind of bitter hopping. Mm. A little bit of sweetness in there, a little bit of that kind of milk chocolate sweetness too, along with that brown sugar. A very delicious beer. Really wonderfully complex for uh, 5.8. This is fantastic. Um, traditional brown ales are around 5 to 5.5. 5. So we're talking about a beer that's only 0.3% um, or, uh, or so higher. And it offers so much complexity. This is uh, almost as good as one of my favorite brown ales or right up there, which is um, Dogfish's India, India, Indian Brown Ale. I'll post you guys a link to a, uh, post you guys to a link. Um, 